Hey there scientific brilliant people, how are you today? So today I'm going to discuss a numerical problem from simple harmonic motion chapter, grade 11 physics and here we are given an equation of displacement that is y is equal to 3 sin 314t plus 4 cos 314t, displacement is in centimeter, t is in seconds. You are supposed to find out the amplitude, initial phase, periodic time and maximum velocity right and so let's start so first of all people you need to know the basic equation of the shm so we know that y is equal to a sin omega t plus 5 this is the basic equation of shm in which a is the maximum value of y which we call as amplitude this omega is 2 pi f and omega is called angular frequency this f is the frequency t is the time and phi is called initial phase and this whole omega t plus phi this whole angle in the bracket is called phase now if i open up the bracket because i know what is sine a plus b sine a this is a and this is b so sine a plus b this a is the amplitude term and sine a plus b is sine a cos b so it is sine omega t cos phi plus cos a sine b so it would be sine phi and cos omega t now if i open up this bracket a sine omega t cos phi plus a sin phi cos omega t. So now I am getting a new equation of the displacement over here and now I would like to compare this equation with the equation given in our problem. So as you can see the omega t is this part so this 314 is actually omega. So that means this a over here if we compare a cos phi so if I remove sin omega t from here so this part is sin omega t so that means this 3 is a cos phi so I get the value of a cos phi as 3 and now again if I compare the second part this is cos omega t part so this is cos omega t part so the left over 4 is a sin phi so a sin phi is equal to 4 now just imagine people if I want to find out the value of a I need to get rid of cos phi as well as sin phi so what am I going to do is under this situation I am going to square both of these terms so it would be a square cos square phi that is 9 and a square sin square phi is equal to 16 now I am going to add these two terms so a square would be common so a square would be common and inside I would get sin square phi plus cos square phi that is equal to 16 plus 9 that is 25. We know the mathematical identity that sin square phi plus cos square phi is 1. So a square is 25. So I get the value of amplitude as a is equal to 5. So this is our first answer people. Now what I need to do is I need to find out the value of phi from here where phi is the initial phase so this is equation number one this is equation number two so I am going to divide one by two so a sin phi divided by a cos phi that is equal to four by three so a a getting cancelled so tan phi is equal to four by three so phi is equal to 10 inverse 4 by 3 so this value is 53.8 degrees people you can just find out from the log tables you can go to natural tangents and find out the value so this is 53.53 degrees and 8 minutes so we get our first answer as 53.8 
Then the second one they are asking us about amplitude we did, initial phase we did, now periodic time. So we know omega is 2 pi f. Now 2 pi 1 by t because frequency is equal to 1 upon time period. So from here you can find out the value of time period as 2 pi by omega, right? And so I am going to substitute the value of omega that is 2 pi by omega. You can see that this is cos omega t. So omega is 314. So 314 and this value of omega, this value of pi you can take as 3.14 for 22 by 7. So if you solve this, you will get your answer as 0 0.02 seconds. 0 0.02 seconds, right? Because the time period, the time is measured in seconds over here and here they are giving us the value of time, right? the unit of time. So the, sec the third answer that we are getting of time period is as follows and then we need to find out the maximum velocity. Yes, maximum velocity is given by omega times a. The value of omega over here is 314. Now this is omega. So omega SI unit would be 2 pi then frequency is 1 upon second so this is second inverse and amplitude is 5 centimeter because the distances are given in centimeter. So this is 5 centimeter and the product turns out to be 1570 centimeter per second. So now people let me just highlight all our answers over here. This is our first answer the amplitude then we have the second answer as this one, third answer as this one and the last answer as this one. So people just stay tuned to my channel and I will be coming up with more numericals of SHM and its theory. Thank you for watching the video.